Hey guys, what's up, Pixels here? In today's video, I'm just going to be going over the Prestige system and giving my review and honest opinion on the Prestige system that's just come to Evil Dead. The game yesterday, uh, I had 8.45 million spirit points and I'm only left with 333,000 spirit points. Um, so what I will do is kind of break down the video a little bit. I'm going to go over the challenges and, you know, the, the entirety of, you know, the time played to complete these challenges as well. And not only that, but I will be discussing the rewards and why I think, you know, most of the rewards are kind of lackluster in terms of actually prestiging uh, a lot of characters in this game. So first off, let's talk about the challenges. So we're just going to look on Army of Darkness Ash because, you know, I, he's the one I've spent the most time on at the moment for the prestige. So... Uh, I skipped all these, uh, you know, going up to level four. And, you know, this cost me a lot of spirit points to do that. So basically, you know, it was like 105,000 just to skip one tier of a challenge, which is quite ridiculous. Um, but basically, you know, you've got to do 1.6 million damage. I have played uh, roughly about 15 games uh, since the, the launch of the Prestige with this guy. And I have maxed out damage on my build as well. So you can see I have two-handed weapon mastery. And I have heavy hitter on there. So I'm doing a lot of heavy damage with the Lumberjack Axes in my game. So, you know, I'm, I'm roughly coming out with about 80,000. Uh, you know, on very strong games against good demon players. And that's not always the case. So, you know, average you're going to get is around 60,000, if not less, on this guy. Depending on the demon, of course. And the sad thing is, obviously, you know, that's not a lot to go up to dealing, you know, 1.6 million damage. So, you know, in terms of time played for that, that's going to be quite a lot of games that you're going to have to get through. And obviously, you've got to win 24 matches. But, you know, I suppose with the first prestige, most of them you're going to be able to, like, complete whilst winning those 24 matches. However, like I said, I've streamed this game for about nine hours so far. I've played about nine hours uh, almost 10 hours and you know it's it's not a accurate representation of time played but you know that's including queuing time and stuff like that and it's the case of that as well where if i'm queuing it's going to be factoring into my game time because you know the average game time i'd say for people on this game is like two to three hours you know people hop on they play a couple of games uh in maybe four games you know and that's like their two hours up because realistically the games last so long then at the end of the day or the end of the game it's just the rewards aren't enough in terms of xp and spirit points so i think the most you can get from a game what i've seen so far is like 3870 xp on survivor and you roughly get around that in spirit points as well so you know it's a combination it's not a lot of spirit points and xp to begin with and not only that but like i said you can't really get a lot of damage or stuff completed on your challenge uh objectives for the prestige eva so <laughs> factoring all that in you're gonna have to spend a lot of hours and a lot of time doing that for a character on prestige obviously you know prestige if it's worth it that grind makes sense but is it really worth it i don't really think it is but uh, that's only prestige level one you know 1.6 million damage winning 24 matches you know defeating 1830 basic units that one's not too difficult collecting 70,000 objective points as well i don't think those are too difficult they're very grindy but like i said you are gonna have to play a minimum of 24 matches to at least uh, complete these challenges and you know roughly once you've done those 24 challenges you have done the prestige level but on top of that you then have to level up your character again from uh, level 0 to level 26 once you've got that prestige as well. So <laughs> so then you can move on to prestige 2. Well, however, they've increased the XP per level on the prestige as well. Uh, I'm not sure what the XP per level is on level 2. But at the moment for me on level 4, I'm at 15,000 XP to gain one level. So <laughs> as you can see, I've been playing this. Like I said, I've done 15 games. Um, I've... You know, played this for like nine hours roughly or something. And I'm only at level six on Army of Darkness Ash. For me, that is fucking terrible. Like, it is really bad. I want to see higher XP gains at the end of the game at least. You know, if I'm going to be doing that. You know, I'm sitting here with, you know, 333,000 spirit points. Not a lot of people will be sitting there with that. So you could be saying, why not just spend your spirit points to level up the character? But then it's like, you get onto the, you know, the higher... Uh, challenges that you get on the prestige so the higher challenges defeat 270 boss units that i'm currently working on right now uh, i've managed to defeat 31 
But there's a problem with this because demon players, if they're experienced as well, will unpossess their boss unit if they know they're going to die because they have a chance of not dropping a cola or an amulet for the for the survivors as well if they unpossess them. So I'm kind of left here, you know, <laughs> going through games without even killing a single boss unit. And that's with a team. That's with me playing with a team of people who know what I want for my challenges. And then uh, they are letting me kill the boss units. So not everyone's going to do that, especially in solo queue. Where everyone's just going to bum rush the, the boss unit if they all want that for their challenge as well. People aren't going to pay attention to being like, oh, the warrior needs that for their challenges. That's just not going to happen. So, um... You now have to decide, do you save your spirit points for leveling up your character to, you know, level 25, level 26, level 27, level 28, etc. Or do you do it to skip, you know, these pointless or really difficult challenges? Um, obviously, the 3.8 million one, I don't really matter about that. I'll get that eventually. Uh, the objective points and even winning 66 matches, like, I, I don't mind that. And I've actually played more than 15 matches. I did think I only played 15, but I've actually played 17 on this guy alone. Um, so I've won, I've, I've actually played more because I lost a couple of games. So I've played about 19 matches and saying that 19 matches and I'm only level six, that is a big problem. And like I said, about 20 to 30 minutes per game, <laughs> you know, that's a lot of time spent only to get a character to level six. So I really don't know what's going on with these challenges. They need luck for that. Um, the screenshots that we actually got of the challenges sounded a lot better than what we've actually received in the game as well. You know, it was stuff like... Um, deal 300,000 damage or something, which, you know, for prestige level one, that sounds fair enough to me, or even 30,000 damage. <laughs> I mean, you could get that in one game. You know, the problem is, it's just, you, you kind of want to have a grind, okay? The grind makes sense if you are a dedicated player. If Saber's thinking like, oh, dedicated players are going to be working towards this for years to come. Um, I can kind of understand that mentality of having the prestige system this way, where... You know, your character's not going to level up until, you know, maybe it's a few more months. But <clears throat> even casual players aren't going to be taking a few months. They're going to take a lot longer than that just to even get a character close to level 5 prestige. The game going free to play on Epic Games Store on Thursday. You know, you're going to have all these new people, f like, fluctuating into the game. And, you know, people flooding into the game wanting to learn different characters and stuff, which is fine. Um, the problem is there's no ranking system or anything like that. So, you know, these level one demon players and stuff will be going across people like me who are like level 300 uh, profile level. And, you know, I've got a high prestige army of darkness, Ash. And that's the, the bad thing is that putting this prestige system in the game, the timing of it is really bad. It should have been done maybe it's like next month or even the month after that. I don't think it is it is ready it feels like it's in a beta state um it feels like saber just kind of got a lot of theoretical numbers together and just kind of threw it out there and um, they are listening to feedback of course they have a feedback system in place on their website uh primarily focus on that they actually have a section focused on the prestige mode itself so you can give feedback about that but i thought you know for me it's it's a lot more motivating for me to make a video and talking about this rather than you know going onto a website and you know having to log in to my saber account or whatever just to leave some feedback to tell them that the proceed system is bad and that they really need to look at the numbers so ideally for me you know i i complain about things that's fine you know you can take it however you want it you know a lot of people just say well you'll casually get these in anyways but i think i'm in mean, the majority of people here who will agree with me that I think I'm in the vast majority of players here who really disagree with this prestige system and how it's being handled. So, uh, like I said, the challenges are really bad. Uh, we've discussed the challenges. Um, you know, even at level three, it was defeat 150 boss units, and I'm glad I just skipped through all that, really. Uh, but, you know, for people who don't have the spirit points like that I had, they have to go through all that, which is just really nuts. And, you know, I want to not only work on Army of Darkness Ash, but, you know, I want to go on Leader Ash eventually as well. And, you know, I look at leader ashes and they just feel really rough to do as well. Like, win 24 matches, perform 660 finishes, perform 390 headshots. Like, all this just for the first prestige is just ridiculous for me. Um, you know, finish 21 matches without dying, perform 870 finishes, complete 60 matches in total. Like, if these, if these were... Uh, combined from the last one. So, you know, if I won 24 matches there, if those 24 matches went on to the completed 60 matches as well, 
Uh, you know, that would be fine with me because then I, you know, I have the challenges ready to go for that prestige as well. So that way I can just focus on leveling up the character because I have spent time obviously doing these challenges. But the fact you've got to do these challenges one after the other as well, it's just absolutely crazy uh, for the prestige, each prestige. So, uh, you know, collect 2,070 bottles of pink fuck. How long is that going to take? Because the maximum you can get in a game on leader is 25. So again, we're just talking you know, weeks and months worth of grinding just to get a character at the highest level. And, you know, this is where we're going to fall into the category of talking about rewards. And for me, rewards on, on the prestige is just, it's just not an incentive to do it, really. Um, at the moment, I'm treating prestige as just something to do while to wait for the next DLC. And, you know, I'm saving my spirit points up, for, you know, the, for the new characters rather than spend them on current characters. So right now I'm just casually leveling up and I'm going through the, the, the character challenges very slowly. Obviously, like I said, I've played like 19, 20 matches since it's released. And it's just, you know, I'm sitting here at level six and I'm looking at this very depressing progress bar. That's just very very slowly going up and you know i don't want to just instantly burn through challenges but there needs to be a realistic thing like in place here but they've got to understand people don't have the same amount of time i have to spend on the game and um, you know someone like me might do this in a couple of weeks or you know a few weeks but you know like i said the average play time is probably two or three hours for people and in that amount of time, they're only managing to get four games in. And, you know, the maximum they're going to get out of that is only 12,000 XP. And maybe it's like, you know, roughly 50,000 spirit points, if not less. So again, that's just not going to be enough to even get close to start prestige and characters either. And then, like I said, we're going to fall into the rewards side of things. So we look at the rewards and it's just... But what were they thinking for this as an incentive? So the insignias, I don't mind the insignias. It's a, it's sort of a nice one to get. Um, if you level up the character, you get an insignia portrait. You know, it's, it's whatever. Uh, but the skill rewards on some characters just don't make sense. Uh, the shield blast on Army Darkness Sash isn't bad, and obviously getting the for me the extra skill points is what's worth it. Um, but. You know, in terms of going to prestige level two, you only get an insignia there. And so you're spending a lot of time just to get an extra character portrait. Again, that is absolutely just terrible for me. Um, and you go up to max level 27. So again, we get an extra an extra skill point. But I've got to spend so many more XP or sk uh, spirit points to get up to that level 27 before I can even start obviously going for the, the level three prestige stuff as well. Um, again, it's like, deal 2,376,000 damage, uh, 2 million 376,000 damage, defeat 150 boss units, and you know, the prestige rewards for doing all that, and win 33 matches and perform 810 finishes is just, is not worth it, like, get the insignia again, like I said, the insignia designs are pretty nice, I don't mind them, but you know, it still could have been better to me, they're kind of weird badges, because they don't feel evil dead you know, like, they feel like the badges from a totally different game that's not Evil Dead. Um, I would have liked to see, like, a chainsaw badge or something like that around the character. That would have been cool. But uh, the max level, again, you've got to get all that up. And then, boom, we're hit with a unique Screamer. So, you know, before we even get anything, really, um, cosmetic-wise or something, is a Screamer. And Screamers, for me, are really bad in this game. Like, they're cool arts, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, I like this one. It's pretty funny, but this only pops up on the demon side. So you're unlocking something that you're never even going to see in the game. And you've spent hours and hours grinding just for this to happen. So a lot of people are saying like, you know, people pulled all their spirit points into one character. I mean, what do you expect? We've had nothing like this since launch. So we've had a lot of spirit points saved up. Like I said, I had 8.4 million, so... I'm obviously going to pool my spirit points to actually spend them on something for once. Um, unfortunately, the way I've had to spend them is just ridiculous. And <laughs> for the fact is, is I've spent a lot of a lot of hours grinding this game before this prestige system come out just to unlock like a unique screamer that for Army of Darkness Ash that looks, looks absolutely. It's just a waste. It really is. It's a waste of a reward. 
you're not going to see it in the game unless like you, you know if you're playing against them so if you're playing a demon and you demon dash then you will see that but it's the same goes for demon as well if demon does the demon dash they don't see their you know screamer pop up they see the survivor screamers so it's like what do you do in that in that scenario like why bother having something like this in the game i don't mind screamers like i said for me they're more battle pass cause like type of content there's something free that you get in a battle pass free track or something like that. They they are not they should not be a like a very grueling hours on hours grind just to get a a, a nice new photo for the character. It's just, and to be honest, you look at them and they're not particularly great. Like you look at this one, that's the one I got for getting Prestige Three. Like, <clears throat> what is that? Someone obviously the artist does a good job, but why why would I select that? I got I literally got this one which is just far superior but why like why would I ever select that it just doesn't make any sense um I don't want to just be totally negative about this like like I said I will give some things that they've done right on the prestige system like I do like the challenges like having challenges there to get a prestige level I do like that but the execution of it is terrible and you know I do like they have only five levels but the rewards per level are just not worth it at all. Again, it's right ideas, but it's poor execution for me. And you know, if, even if I get prestige level 5, all I'm getting is a 5% damage increase, a 3% damage reduction, an extra 30 health restored, and an extra 5 fear reduction there on, on my wise man potion. So is that enough incentive for me to get a prestige 5? Probably not, but the incentive for me is to just get, you know, the extra skill points I can put onto my skill tree rather than the wise man portion buff and again this it's just the rewards in general like why you know for me what the reward should have been you no know, you hit prestige level one okay you get the insignia that's cool max level 26 and you get the buff for your skill that's fine right i'm happy with that one so at level two insignia max level 27 there needed to be a third reward for this and for the third reward it should have been like a weapon skin or a new finisher for the character. Something like that would have been way more better to have an incentive to grind for. And, you know, then level three, again, would have been nice to see some new weapon skins instead of a unique screamer. And, of course, having the insignia there and the max level increase. And then, you know, you get into prestige level four here, all you get is an insignia and max level 29. So that's the one I'm at right now. And that's all I've gotten, you know, so... You've got to factor in all my hours I've grinded this game since day one. Uh, you know, my spirit points saved up and things like that. And <laughs> to pull all them hours just to get to level four prestige on a character that only gives me two rewards out of that is pretty crazy. As as you can see, I mean, them insignias become worthless as you go on. So technically, I've like spent all those spirit points just to get a shield blast increase on army darkness dash and a screamer and obviously that insignia there and to max my character out at level 29 that's all i've gotten and that's a very concerning thing there and like i said for level four it should again be another finisher or something to add to the character so you know finisher weapon skin finisher and then at level five a brand new outfit for the character even a deadite version of the character we can play they have the deadite models built into the game already so just changing the character's face to a deadite still would have been like massively better than the rewards we're getting like i said what i just i don't see it as an incentive for even new players to come in and say right i want to grind this character up because you know i really want to get my wise man potion up to level or you know an extra level it's just nobody's going to do that. Oh, I really want that skull insignia. It's just, it's not going to happen for new people uh, even. They're just going to look at the grind and go, what is the point in this? I don't see the point in that. So they're just going to leave the game or, you know, they're just not going to enjoy that grind at all. As I said, it's a fun game. I'll keep, you know, obviously I always keep playing this game. I stick by it. I always try and see positives about it, but it's very hard to take positives out of things from this prestige, uh, this whole entire prestige system. It's just, for me, the rewards and the challenges have been massively uh, looked over. You know, they've just been kind of put into the game. Like, like I said, it's all theoretical uh, damage buffs and uh, theoretical numbers that 
some people aren't realistically ever going to get, unfortunately, and it's just not going to happen for them. So, uh, moving on. <laughs> like I said the rewards, like I said, a character skin would have been a great incentive for, to actually prestige a character up, and that way you can stand out even more. You know, you've got a unique skin on the character. People can see, like, oh, look, that guy's prestige 5 with that character. They've spent a lot of time on them uh, to go through all the challenges and stuff, or realistic challenges, at least. So, you know, for me, I don't understand why they haven't done that. Obviously, the IP holders factor into this, but what I wish what they could do right now is roll back the servers. If that was even possible, roll back the server save or something before they drop this update out of it. I'd be fine with that until they get this proceed system sorted out because it's just a horrible mess. And that way I can get my spirit points back as well. <laughs> See why they bothered doing a prestige system like this. Um, what I will suggest is they and listen to people's feedback as much as possible and hopefully we see an improvement for this prestige system but yeah i just wanted to give my review on the prestige system guys i'm not particularly happy about it i know a lot of you guys aren't happy about it but i thought i'd just voice my concerns about it as well and hopefully you guys agree with me and you know there's only some characters that are really worth prestiging but i will do a video on like what characters to prestige first and who you should look at leveling up as well um but right now like i said it's only it's it's still fresh for me but for the amount of hours I've spent, I would expect to have a lot more progress on my character challenges than I currently do right now. Uh, especially my character level. It, the fact they've buffed up the profile level, like the character's level, sorry, XP requirements is absolutely insane. Why I've got to get 15,000 XP just to get to level 7 right now is just totally, totally nuts. And this has been happening since level 4, by the way, so I've only gone up two levels today. And, you know, I spent a lot of time playing the game and played quite a few games, so... Again, it's just really bad. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I just had to make this video real quick. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think of the Prestige system and what you would personally change in the Prestige system for rewards and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I will be doing other videos around the Prestige system. Um, I was planning on doing ones like helping people with the challenges and stuff, but realistically, I can't see the challenges being stuck the way they are right now. I think they're going to get changed um, eventually. So, you know, suggesting how to do character challenges right now is just probably not going to be a, a something I'm going to look at doing, uh, unfortunately. Because I did have a lot of stuff planned when I was ready to see uh, the prestige system dropped. I was like, oh yeah, I can't wait to do tutorial to help people get through prestige faster and stuff, but... Sadly, that's not going to be the case right now because it it's realistically just in, like for people who don't have the same amount of game time to spend on this game as me. Especially like they don't factor in the variables of people playing other games and stuff as well. And like I said, nobody wants an easy grind, but nobody wants an impossible grind. And that's what this is feeling like right now. God knows how many hours I'm going to have to spend to actually get everyone prestige five. Like I just don't think that's going to be in the realm of possibility if they ever keep if they keep this in this current state but i can't see that happening but anyways like i said leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of the prestige system hit that like button hit that sub button if you are new to the channel i do stream this game monday to thursday and do a lot of evil dead content as well i've been covering this game since day one of announcement back at the game awards in you know 2020 or 2019 or something but uh, thank you guys so much for watching i've been pixels my awesome viewers i'll catch you guys in the next one